How's it going, Charlie? Why are you late, Charlie? Well, Bill, I'll tell you why I was late. I'm late because I was, I was answering an important call from the president. You were not answering an important call from the president. All right, I was, uh, I was making my move on that filly in apartment 3G. <laughs> Phyllis? Mm -hmm. Phyllis in 3G? Oh, yeah. Did you even know her name? Mm, I do now. Yeah. <laughs> She doesn't even know you exist. Oh, she will. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Why were you late? Well, I, I tell you, I was, uh, I was late uh, because, uh, well, I was late because I was, uh, I was building my boogie body. That's why. You still got a lot of work to go to on that one, don't you there? Yeah, maybe so. But how about you? What are you doing here? I'm reading the obituaries. Why? Seen if I'm in here. Have you found yourself? Not yet, not yet. Ooh. That's a load off. I'd be talking to a ghost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Why were you late? Well, I was late because my Metamucil kicked in late this morning. <laughs> Just to be honest with Is you. Is that right? Yeah, I, I think it goes back to last night. Uh huh. Uh, my, my son. Uh, took me to Chalupa Charlie's oh, for yes, dinner. Oh, yes, I've heard about that place. I had the Super Duper Chalupa. You did? Yeah. yeah. So this morning, uh, uh, usually like clockwork, right, before Regis and Kelly, you know, kicks in, you know. And, but the, today, it, it, it was not until halfway through Matlock. <laughs> Is that right? We just, oh, you know. <laughs> hmm, forget it. Almost had to call Hazmat. <laughs> So you had a chalupa poopa. Never thought about it that way, but I guess I did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Way to go. Yeah. You know, my grandson was uh, talking about something while we were there together. Uh -huh. and something I'm kind of interested in. I think I'm going to do it. You know what's that? Bungee jumping. You're not going bungee jumping. No, I think I am. I, th no. I, I, I think it might realign my back. Uh, it seems that they tie a rubber band around your ankles and push you off a cliff. Sounds like fun to me. You're not going bungee jumping. Don't tell me. I'm telling you, don't, I, don't. I am your friend and I'm telling you you're not going bungee jumping. Don't tell me I can't do something. I don't like it when people tell me I can't do something, right? I mean, they, they told me that I, I couldn't connect all the computers together but I, I, and, and make a super highway, but I did it, didn't I? You did not invent the World Wide Web. I did, too. No, you did yes, not. Yes, I did. You did not. I did, too. That was Al Gore. You had nothing to do with it. <laughs> He's really heating things up, isn't he? <laughs> yes, he, he is. They, well, they told me that I couldn't put a man on the moon, but I shoved him in a capsule and lit that candle up, didn't I? Put him on the moon. You had nothing to do with that. I sure you did. did not. I did, too. You did not. That, did that was Lance Armstrong. You had nothing to do with putting a man on the moon. That was who? <laughs> who got on the moon? Who, who, who did I say? Lance Armstrong? It was a heck of a bike ride. <laughs> Hope he packed a lunch. <laughs> he must have be strong. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> you know what I meant. You know what I meant. Yeah. All right. You're not, you're not, you didn't, you didn't do any of that. All well, right? I don't like it when people tell me I can't do things. They said I, I shouldn't get a dog when I turned 60 because, you know, the mud will outlive you. But yeah. I outlived him, didn't I? Uh -huh. I turned 70. I, and they said, don't get a parakeet. You can't teach it to say anything. But I taught it to say something, didn't well, I? Well, you were supposed to teach him Polly want a cracker. Well, that, uh, that's what he said. Yeah. Okay, he said, golly, you're a slacker. Uh -huh. But you know uh -huh. what? It was close, wasn't it? It was, <laughs> it was better very, than you could do. It was very close. And I named him Lance Armstrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Of course you did. That little bike he rode in there. <laughs> nice. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. 
Uh huh. So what's wrong with you? Cat got your tongue? Just thinking about Ted. Ted. I don't like Ted. Ted's selfish. Oh, sure, he's all flowered. He talk when you're in public. They get behind closed doors, and it's all about Ted. Ted lives his whole life for Ted. If, if there's not something in it for Ted, Ted's not interested in it. You know, I can't stand Ted. Ted's dead. I loved Ted. <laughs> you didn't love Ted. I did. No, you did not. You didn't love Ted. Ted. I loved Ted like a brother. No, you <laughs> Like a twin brother who shared a heart. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> a, tw a twin brother that shared a heart? Really close. <laughs> I loved him. I loved him like a cousin, like a third cousin, six times removed that I saw on special holiday, <laughs> like Groundhog Day and <laughs> such. If the groundhog saw his shadow, I saw Ted. <laughs> Loved him. I'm going to miss him. You didn't love Ted at all. I couldn't stand Ted. Yeah. And I'm sorry he's dead, but I couldn't stand him. Well, you're not the only one. There's a lot of people that couldn't stand Ted. Yeah. I don't know what it was, you know. I mean, he seemed to have talent. He seemed to be smart. But when it came to just his overall person, there was really nothing likable about him. He just didn't really do much, you know. You and I are going to go to his funeral, though. Uh, I'm not going. Yes, we're going I'm to go. I'm not going. Yes. No. We're going to go to his funeral. And here's why. People are going to talk about Ted, and you're supposed to say all these nice things about Ted, and we're going to sit there, and we're going to know they're not true because we knew Ted's true character. But here's the deal. I need to hear that. I need to see that, Charlie. Because when I think about Ted... I realize my life is no different than Ted's. Now stop that. No, it's true, Charlie. I'm going to die, and people may say nice things, but I don't know if I've really ever lived. I don't really know if I've ever really, really given it all that I could to just make a difference in the world, Charlie. Well, it's not too late to stop. Oh, yes, it is, Charlie. Yes, no, it's, it's not. It's way too late, Charlie. No. All right? No, you have a chance. You have an opportunity. And if you don't take it, then time has passed you by. But I'm too old to be doing anything now. All now right? stop it. You're I, talking like a silly old man. I am not. I had a window of opportunity, and it's passed. No, if you're still drawing breath, then you still have an opportunity to, to use your life to make the world a better place and to honor God with it. Nah. It's not too late. You just need a jump start. What it's just you like your old ticker in there. What do you mean? We're going to jumpstart your life. Listen, you and I. No we're deal. Gonna, no, 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 we no, are going to no, be no, friends, no, right? No. Yes, we are We're friends. going to be accountability partners, yes, all right? Yes, yes. We're doing this together. Yes. Deal? <laughs> deal? What do you want me to do? It's something my granddaughter <laughs> does. Don't even know what it means. <laughs> deal? Deal. Yeah. What else does your grand granddaughter want you to do? Well, sometimes she makes me dress like a princess. <laughs> and I must admit, I'm very pretty. <laughs> All right. Now so listen, like I was saying, let's go get you jump-started. That's right. what we're going to do. Adam. How are we going to jump-start? Well, what, what, what are we going to well, do? I'll tell you when Just we get tell there. me, what are we going to do? Where are we going? We're going bungee jumping. 